Okay, so one of the questions that will be on the final exam will be a question about measures of center. In particular, we're talking about mode, median, um, mid-range, and mean. So let's go and use this as an example, uh, and hopefully you can follow along with your practice final at home. So you should see on the practice final a question that asks for the measures of center for the ages of people that were at some birthday party. So we did a survey of people at a birthday party, and we found out somebody was 25, another person was 25, somebody else was 29, somebody else was 33, 35, 39, 46. And we're looking for the different measures of center, meaning what's the average age of a person at the party. And we said there are four ways to do that. To do that. So let's talk about mode first. So mode refers to the value that occurs most frequently. So if we take a look at our, at our survey results, we see that 25 years old occurs most frequently. Two people that we surveyed were 25, and nobody, no, no other age occurs more than once in our surveys. In our surveys. So we would say that 25 years old is the mode for this data. So you just look for the value that occurs most frequently. So for instance, if we did some more data collecting and we found a person that was 29 and then maybe another 35 year old and then, um, but let's stop there for a second. So now, if we added two more people, somebody that was 29 and somebody that was 35, what would the mode be? Well, take a look. Two people were 25. Now two people were 29. Now two people were 35. Now those ages occurred most frequently. So you would say that 25 years old, 29 years old, oops, and 35 years old. These are all the modes of this data set. So this would be multimodal because it has more than one mode. Each of these are a mode. Now let's say we did one more. We took another survey and we found out that somebody else at the party was 29. Now what would the mode be? Well, we still have two people that are 25. We still have two people that are 35. But now we found three people that are 29. Now we know for now it's obvious that 29 is the age that occurs most frequently, most often. So the mode would be 29. It wouldn't be 25 anymore, it wouldn't be 35 anymore, because those only occur twice. But 29 years old, we found three people that were 29. That's more than anyone else. So 29 years old would be our, our mode. Now, this is useful for doing ca categorical data. So if you did a survey with eye color or a survey of, um, of people's names, whichever occurs most frequently would be the mode. So if you did a survey and you found a few people with blue eyes, a few people with uh, turquoise eyes, a few people with green eyes, but you found that there were more people with brown eyes than brown eyes would be the mode of that data set. So whichever value occurs most frequently. And if there are multiple um, data values that occur most frequently, as in the case where we had this, then there's more than one mode. And you'd list all those values, 25 years old, 29 years old, and 35 years old, would all be the modes of the data set. OK, so let's move on to the next measure of center. So median. Now when we talk about median, we're talking about the middle value, the value that's in the center of our data range. So for instance, these numbers, these ages, have been placed in order already from lowest to highest. When you find the median, the first thing you should do is take your values and reorder them from lowest to highest so that they're in numerical order. And then you take a look for whatever value is right in the middle of your, of your um, data. So, in our case, this number right there is in the middle of our data. One, two, three, 
fourth, right? One, two, three, that's the fourth. So it's right in the middle of our, of our data. So in this case, the median would be 33. So when you think median, think the middle. The value that's in the middle. Now, if you, this, in this case, we had an odd number of values, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's gonna be one value that's right in the middle. But what if we took an even number of data points? So now, instead of seven values, we have eight. So 33 is no longer in the middle, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So it's no longer in the middle. These two values are in the middle. 33 and 35 are the two middle values of our range. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now what we need to do is find the value that's right in between 33 to 35. Now just by looking at it, it should be obvious that it's 34. But in case the numbers are tricky, what you do to find the middle value is take 33 plus 35 divided by 2. So if you have a problem on the final exam where it's an even number of data points, like in this case 8, and there's no clear center or middle value, take the two numbers that are in the middle, add them together, divide by 2, and that will give you the median. Okay? And you only need to do that when there's an even number of data points. An odd number, just find the one value that's in the middle. Okay. We can also find the mean. And this is what most people think of when they think of average. They think of the mean. And we know from class that the mean is the summation of all of our data divided by how many samples we took. So, summation of all of our data, you add up all of these numbers. So if you add them all up, you should have 232. And you're gonna divide by your sample size, n. n is always your sample size. So we're gonna have, so if you look at all the other equations for all the other problems in the final exam, remember, n is always sample size. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven samples. So 232 divided by 7 is 33.142867, etc., etc., etc. Okay, and don't forget the round off rule when we're looking at the mean. So we take our value, and you can have one additional decimal place from what's in the original data set. So here, they're all whole numbers. So one additional decimal place would put you right there. So the mean is 33.1. This is a 4, so that's not going to affect 1 when you round it. If this was a 5, you'd round that guy to 2. Okay? Now let's say, instead of whole numbers here, we had 25.2, 25.7, 29. I don't know why somebody would give you that as an age, but let's say that happens. 46.5. Then you have one decimal place in your data, so that means you could round it to 2 decimal places in your final answer for the mean. Now don't forget your units too, this is years old. Okay, hopefully that's simple enough for you. And then the last thing is the mid-range. Okay, mid-range is, is short and easy. So you take the low value, which is 25, plus the high value of your data set. In this case, it's, let's get rid of that guy. In this case, it was, oh no, we had 46. In this case, it was 46 divided by two, and that's gonna give you the value that's right in the middle of your range. All right, right in the middle of your range. So 25 plus 46 is 71 divided by two equals 35.5. And that's good, because we have our one additional decimal place. Years old. Okay. Uh, so mid-range. We know that this is quick and easy, so why would you ever find mid-range instead of the mean? Well, if you need a quick and fast measure, or a quick and fast calculation of some sort of measure of center, 
uh, you can do the mid-range. You've got a Home Depot, you need to quickly calculate some sort of average, and you don't have a lot of time, and you don't have your calculator with you, you can just do the mid-range. Okay, so you've gone over mode, median, mean, and mid-range. Hopefully that helps you out for the final. We'll take a look at a few more questions in a second.